So again, running bosses over and over to test loot is something I really enjoy. I've done it a few times already, but today we check out 200 runs of the OG demo captain people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So with many people now believing loot and legendaries have been stealth nerfed, I thought I'd go do another boss farming video where I run the same boss 200 times on a world tier 15 and bring you guys my loot results. Now I will state that what I am doing here isn't to try and disprove expeditions are the best farms for legendaries. So can all the people suggesting I farm expeditions for legendaries have a day off? I think everybody knows expeditions are the best besides exploits. So please, please, please calm down within those comments sections telling me this is pointless and I should be farming expeditions. I know this. But legendaries do drop elsewhere. And today guys we have the results of 200 Terror Inferma Rift Town Captain Runs. The OG Demo Captain. Now what's great about this captain farm is within every run you can also indeed kill two marksmen who also have great loot within their loot pools and drop them very very often indeed. So although this is 200 captain runs it's also 400 marksman kills at the same time. So each run I was averaging 40 to 45 seconds and this is only because the marksmen were all over the place. Within the demo I'd normally see them right by the captain but here when farming sometimes these were on the opposite side. So for the 200 runs it took me about 2 hours 20 minutes give or take. Okay, so from the 400 marksman kills, I got a grand total of 77 rares and 121 epics, which isn't bad at all people. The rares dismantled resulted in 4560 iron and 7881 leather. The epics dismantled into 1694 titanium. But also people, from the marksmans, I got a whole two legendaries. I got two legendaries within 200 runs. What is going on here guys? So from 400 kills, I got two legendaries here, which isn't bad whatsoever. So on to the captain. So here in terms of titanium I got from him, I got 1,363. I also got 133 rares, which when dismantled I got 17,920 leather and 6,519 iron. In total from the captain here, 200 runs, I got 174 epics, which when dismantled I got 2,088 titanium. Also from the captain guys, 200 runs, I got two legendaries. So that's four in total. So not a bad run if I'm honest. So if we calculate my entire rewards here, I had 210 rares, 295 epics and four legendaries. So I ended up in total from this farm, four legendaries, 11,079 iron, 25,801 leather and 5,145 titanium. And when we compare this to the Vanguard Captain I ran, which you would have saw that video already 200 times and I were tier 15, took me about an hour and 30 minutes, I got one legendary here, 2 hours 20 minutes, I got four legendaries and a ton more materials. So this is definitely the better farm in my opinion and way more efficient for that loot. And there we have it people, it isn't all that bad and to be honest, I earn quite a lot of materials from this and another thing I will add too, from just over the 2 hours here I've had 4 legendaries. Doing expeditions last night, maybe 3 or 4 times longer, I didn't see 2. So yeah, who said the campaign bosses ain't worth farming? Because it seems as though whoever came up with that is talking absolute noodles. But there we have it people, 200 runs of the OG Captain. And guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.